what's up guys it's your boy and today we're going to talk about how two brand new gt 500s got trashed by a car hauler and it starts now what's up guys it's your boy so today we're going to talk about how two 2020 ford mustangs got destroyed what caused that I'm sure some of you guys seen it if you're on Facebook you've seen it it's on the news it's everywhere but why did that happen um, well there, there's a couple different reasons that it could have happened um, but the main culprit is how he's loaded he's got two cars up top but now there has to be something else that went on maybe it was slick or because I've had to run with two cars up top like that those are lighter cars so it shouldn't be as much of an issue but he definitely should have known better and should not have ran it they're new running cars um you know and it's it was a penske rental truck it was either a rental truck or it was a penske truck one of the two it was penske that caused this so what can we do to stop that for that not happening well you've got to know how to load your trailer and there's not a lot that goes into loading these trailers 90 percent of the time i just drive everything on just drive it on you know every now and then i'll back stuff on but not not a whole lot um you know so this is why as hot shots we get a horrible name as car haulers we get a horrible name and they blame it on the trailer they blame it on kaufman they blame it on the gooseneck. No, it's the inexperienced driver. Now, I could go out today and, and wreck, but I've been three years and haven't had an issue. There's guys who've been doing this a lot longer than me and haven't had an issue. It's inexperienced drivers. And these things happen every day. They usually don't make headlines like this, though. But, guys, if we're not careful... We're going to put ourselves right out of the industry. They're going to outlaw these trailers or at least make you have a CDL or make you have something special, you know. And a lot of the times the guys that do, like, get into it, they won't research. They don't have any information. Um, you know, I do what I can do to get it out to you guys, but obviously I don't get out far enough, you know. Um. So we just, you've got to be cautious of what you're doing. Now, I'm sure he was in Detroit. So there was probably some rain going on or some, you know, it was probably, um, probably slick, you know. And then he was on an overpass, you know, which they freeze first. So that could be the reason, but it, it's no excuse for him to be loaded like that like that's unprofessional so guys if you're loading your trailer make sure you load properly um now luckily it, this is my speculation penske will probably pay for this out of pocket and it'll be done but that right there could put you out of business and most guys don't have the cargo to haul them cars i bet you that's two hundred thousand dollars worth of cargo there's guys running around here with a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of cargo on a three-car wedge. It's not, you know, it's not what you're supposed to do. So, if you're going to do this, do it right, or you're not going to be able to do it at all. It takes one little mishap. You know, when that guy woke up yesterday, he didn't expect to be all over the news and trash somebody's Christmas present. Poor Juan Perez, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, but he had just ordered a car like that, and well, hopefully that wasn't his. So, um, yeah. So that's how two 2020 Mustangs, GT 500s or something. I don't know. I guess they're expensive. Um, that's how they got trashed by a car hauler, not knowing what they're doing. All right, and uh, like I said, they roll over probably every day, different parts of the country. You know, at least three or four, five, six, seven a month. But 
I would say probably every day they're somewhere. But if you guys want more trucking news, if you want to know about trucking, car hauling, hot shot car hauling, hot shot trucking, how to be successful, you found the right channel. Do us both a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.